What's going on YouTube, GSNO right here, so in today's video I have great news for those of you waiting for a 14.5 jailbreak. The Checkrain jailbreak has been updated by the Checkrain team and is now available for everybody to get on their website, but there are more great news in this video regarding Checkrain. So as you can see the Checkrain team posted quote Checkrain 0.12.3 released with support for 14.5 and various bug fixes including M1 support. The M1 support itself refers to the Apple Silicon on Max. As you probably know, Apple started selling Macs with their own silicon, their own chip instead of Intel. So basically those are completely different in terms of architecture. They're no longer x86. They are basically ARM, so everything had to be rewritten. So of course the Checkrain team also posted what's the current state of Checkrain on Apple Silicon. And it's actually important because not all devices are affected by these changes, but some of them may require some changes. For example, plugging and unplugging the device while it's jailbreaking. So I'm going to come back to this in a couple of seconds. But yeah, the Checkrain version 0.12.3 adds support for the iOS 14.5. So now you can officially jailbreak this. Now for those of you who don't know, iOS 14.5 wasn't previously supported. Even if you opened Checkrain and went to options and allow untested iOS, that wouldn't have worked for 14.5. It would have worked for the 14.4.2, 14.4.1, 14.4, no problem. But for 14.5, which is currently the latest version, that wouldn't have worked. Apparently 14.5 has some more changes. So they fixed that, they added support for this, but as I said, if you have a a new Mac which has the Apple Silicon, you would have to read this information here on the state of Checkrain on Apple Silicon Max, which is available here on this link. Basically they say that the USB stack has a problem with the USB-C on Apple Silicon Max, which may require some devices to be unplugged and replugged during the jailbreak procedure. So the affected devices are the A7, A9X, A10 and A10X, for example the iPhone 5S, 7, 7 Plus, the iPod Touch 7, iPad Air 1, iPad Mini 2 and 3 and so on. So if you have any of these devices, you may need to do that procedure which they explain in here if you have the new Apple Silicon Mac. However, if you have an Intel Mac like I do here, so basically anything with an Intel CPU, you're not affected by this. You can continue jailbreaking with Checkrain the way you knew, pressing start, putting the device in DFU mode and waiting for it to boot, so basically very easy. Now they also mentioned here a couple of bug fixes which are important. So they say quote, fixes an issue that caused the loader application to crash on tvOS 12, fixes check rain crashing on macOS if using a recent mobile device framework, fixes an issue that could cause the terminal UI to crash on Linux, and then fixes an issue where the terminal UI could leave the terminal in an unusable state on exit. The dev helper process on Linux is now properly cleaned up on exit. So a lot of cleanup and a lot of you know bug fixes and stuff so definitely get the 0.12.3 beta if you're using Checkrain it's much more stable and as you can see it's better even on Linux. Speaking of there currently isn't any Windows version available yes still no Windows version. The only official versions for Checkrain are for Mac OS or of course for Linux. For Linux there are multiple architectures available including x86 so basically Intel AMD and so on, ARM, ARM64 and i486. So with the ARM and ARM64 you can basically even run it on a Raspberry Pi though it's a little bit flaky but yeah you can create yourself a dual boot live disk or something like that for Linux in order to always be able to jailbreak with Checkrain if you have Windows that is if you have Mac you can just run it natively so on Mac the installation is pretty simple you download the DMG file double click on it it will mount and you will have Checkrain in here you just drag it and drop it to the applications and that's basically it once you have it the procedure remains the same you open the application connect your device Make sure that you go here to options and enable skip A11 BPR check if you have an iPhone 10 or an iPhone 8 or 8 plus. That's important because otherwise your device won't work. Another important mention that's also on the website is that if you have an iPhone 10 or 8 or 8 plus, you will still have to turn off the passcode or face ID or touch ID before jailbreaking. Otherwise you will have problems with the BPR and so on. So definitely make sure that you do this before jailbreaking. Other than that, the procedure for jailbreaking with Checkrain hasn't changed so I'm not going to make another part of the video dedicated to that. You already know the procedure, put the device in DFU mode and of course follow the instructions on the screen. So yeah, that's basically it with this update. It's an important update, definitely get it. It adds support for 14.5, which we didn't have previously on any jailbreak. So for those of you who have a Checkrain compatible device, there you go, you have 14.5 jailbreak now available. An important mention is that the Checkrain jailbreak doesn't support the A12, A13 or A14 devices. So unless you have an iPhone 10 or lower, you're not going to be able to 
use check range, so keep that in mind. Thank you for watching, I am Gio Snow, till the next time, subscribe to stay updated and peace out.